I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. I will be back in the building later on with my guy Showtime SP. We got some things to talk about. I know y'all want to hear us recap some of them other battles, but I want to do this one. This one right here. Is you joking? Is you joking? How is it for 50,000 battle rappers are still choking? I cannot understand this. This is a $50,000 tournament. And we talked about the same thing last week. Okay, okay, okay. Leave without your hands, bro. Leave without your hands, bro. Leave without... And they turn around, and battle rappers are doing it again. Some people are just not meant for it. All sizzle, no steak, man. I'm just saying, like, I don't real, I don't understand what it's going to take. What is the motivating factor? If 50,000 won't do it, then I don't know what will do it. But... Uh, King of the Dot, salute to them. Grand Prix Tournament, Northside Organic was the team leader today. And we had uh, four battles. Real Deal versus Times, Sharon versus Shadi P, Joey Gambello versus City, Marv 1 versus Gage. We'll start with uh, Joey Gambello versus City. I really didn't see the battle. I think I saw like one of City's rounds. I kind of got to the joint late because I forgot what time it started. So when I came in, turned on Twitch, Twitch was clear, but I wasn't there. City was rapping like he had something to prove. I haven't really seen City in M City, who used to be his name. He dropped the M. He's now City. He did his thing. Um, he was rapping like, like I remember him versus like Chilla Jones, like way back in the days. And I think he was with Bill Collector. I got the burner. You know, all back then. I haven't seen City in a while, but City did his thing. We'll see where he goes from there. Uh, then you had Sharon versus Shotty P. Shotty P choking and like damn near every fucking round. I, I'm sorry. I, he had a couple lines, but dog, like if you're gonna be choking in every round, I, what am I supposed to do? I, I don't understand. What, what, what you want me to do? Like every round? And the thing was, Sharon was smoking. Like that Sharon that was right there, and I'm not even the biggest fan of Sharon. But that Sharon right there could win the whole tournament. Like, he could literally win the whole tournament. Um, round for round, like, he had freestyle a little bit. He had bars. He had, like, like he was just going through cadences, multis. And he was rapping like he's trying to win that 50,000. He even predicted that he was going to choke, and he choked in every round. Like, I, Shotty P, I don't know, my G. Like, I, I'm lost. I got nothing. I got nothing. I, I'm sorry. What am I supposed to say? When somebody chokes and damn near every round, I know the third, he was just like, uh, uh, you got it. And that was it. Rap for like half a round, choked out of it. It was crazy. Free. It was a bye week for Sharon. This was Sharon's bye week. He literally got a bye week and, and had a free week where he could just uh, take his feet off the gas. He didn't even need to do all of that versus Shotty P. Because Shotty P really was not good at all. First round was dope. Uh, after that, you know, he was choking, stumbling in all of his rounds. And shit. I'm talking about Sharon's first round was real. It was dope. But... Anyway, moving along, we had, uh, what's the next battle in this shit? Marv 1 versus Gage. Uh, Gage first round, like, he was talking real slick. Like, I like some of the shit that Gage was talking about. And he was getting off kind of clean in his first round. But then Marv 1 comes in his first round, Marv 1 just starts bombing. Like, Marv was on some vintage shit. Like, he was really, really on some, I, I haven't seen a Marv 1 on that level, what he was doing today. Like probably since they 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 bombed on chess and steams in the two on two or some shit like that. Like since that since like a double. It was it's been a minute since Marv was really on some shit like he was today. Um, I got Marv won three zero. Uh, Gage choked in the third. For sure he choked in the third. I think he choked in the second too. I think Gage choked like two rounds too. Ah, I'm sorry, it was like two rounds. He rapped like a 106 in Park round in his third round. I think the nigga rapped like 10 seconds and was out of there. Uh, and, and I remember him from the Goods battle. Uh, what you know about you pull up to meet your connect in a Porsche? What you know about meeting your connect when you got to pull up on a horse? And like he got a good style and he got like good. So the nigga was more worried about his motherfucking glasses and jean jacket than he was about his bars. For 50,000, I don't know. Uh, Marv won, won every round. Uh, clear 30, and that's just the way it goes. Um... The best battle of the night 
was Real Deal versus Times. Uh, Times, I never heard of Times in my life. I'm be honest with you. I ain't never seen that nigga. I ain't never heard of that nigga. But this is what's dope is because these type of tournaments when cats like this get that kind of exposure. Frack did it. Uh, Eddie I did it. Clone did it. Like there's always a person that gets spoke about after the first, after their round. I mean, Eddie I, he been around for a minute though. I seen him. He's been in battles before. But Clone did it. And now you have times like I never heard of this. I never heard of him. I never seen no battles. I never heard of it. Never seen no battles. Never, never heard of them. Never seen. I don't know nothing about him. If you know about him and I didn't, I'm, yeah, you know more than me. I never seen this nigga. I don't know nothing about him. I, I, I just got nothing. Uh, he was wilding. Yo, he set a bar. Well, well, real deal had some shit too though. Real deal had a line like "Times left eyes so crazy it burned down Andre Risen's house." Cause you know, uh, t like Times eyes is like fucking. You think Snake Eyes got some shit going on? Times shits is like all over. One eye looking at the time, the next line looking at the motherfucking person. His shits was crazy. His shits is like super twisted. But uh, yo, Times said to me, he said what I thought was the best line of the whole night. Ah, uh, this nigga said. My brother left us with six kids when he died. And that 50K can't even take care of the youngest till he's five. <laughs> I don't even know you, so I can't ask you the question. But Nick, that was get. He was wildin', son. That was crazy out the gate, son. I, I missed the first battle of the night, most of it, but I'm so glad I caught that last one. This nigga, yo, times is pretty straight, though. I'm not gonna hold you. Like he he was definitely he was he was kind of fire. I I, I want to see more of times, man. He definitely surprised me uh, as an MC that I never really heard of. I never seen nothing about. I don't know this nigga. I don't know his at. I can't even tell you to follow him. I don't know nothing about him. But uh, he was fire, and that element of surprise kicked in. Um, it could be argued to one real deal, but I tweeted. Somebody tweeted me about the battle and it's asking why did I think times won. You can't have debatables as the as the chain wearer of King of the Dot. You cannot be having debatables or battles that even come down to it with somebody that we never heard of. Like it just don't work like that. You cannot have a debatable battle with a like mm -mm. You, it shouldn't be debated. As the champion of King of the Dot, the chain wearer currently, the title holder of King of the Dot you are supposed to smoke somebody 3 0. It's not even supposed to be no kind of talk, no, no nothing. For times to come in here, have that kind of performance versus you, and even make it be debatable. And the funny thing, I think Real Deal won by a small smidget with the fan vote. But the fan vote is going to give Real Deal the win anyway because nobody heard of times. I am one of those guys when it comes to this blogging shit. Like numbers for numbers, I, I, I'm. We up there, me and my man Showtime SP, we, we, we do pretty well with these numbers. And I never heard of them. I never heard of them. So if I never heard of them, and y'all, most of y'all never heard of them, you she, there's no way he should be beating uh, Real Deal. The eight ball, he should be at a competitive disadvantage, but he wound up winning anyway. And I think that should mean something. But. The story of the night gotta be the choking. Like, come on, guys. Like, even the ones that that, that make it to the next round and all of that. Like, come on, y'all gotta get that out the way. Like, this is fifty thousand y'all talking about. Most of the people in that tournament ain't ever seen fifty thousand. Not at one time. I would never discredit somebody's whole life and say they ain't seen fifty thousand in general. But at one time, a lot of these folks ain't never seen no fifty thousand at once. Just for doing your hobby, what you like to do, battle rapping? Nah. Mm -mm. Uh. I think Marv won. No, Sharon had the best performance of the night. Sharon definitely had. Marv won had one of the best performances of the night, but Sharon definitely had one of the best performances of the night. Quest McCody said he won $500 off Gage, off, off Gage and Marv won battle. I would have bet $500 on Marv won too. I ain't gonna lie. It's only because Gage is just not proven. And then, like, he battled goods. He did, like, he had, like, a bunch of these one rounders and shit, like, against the Verb and, you know what I'm saying, against goods. Those are one rounders. You know what I'm saying? Those one rounders. You don't go round for round for round, checking out the endurance, and you're not getting hit back in between. Like you're not gonna wrap around, get hit with a round, and wrap around and get hit with a round. It's different. Like when you just have to spit one round, all you gotta do is remember your five minutes of material, your six minutes of material, and then you can just tune out the other person. It's different. Uh, but Gage was Gage had some shit. 
but he just got walked on by Marv. Uh, Join Hit Bello, I didn't really see his performance, and be honest with y'all, I wouldn't even cap up here like I seen the shit, because I didn't. Um, who else? Sharon walked today. He walked all over Shotty P. Shotty P was choking and joking all over the fucking place. Um, who else was there? And so that's just kind of how it was. King of the Dot, this division, be honest with you, man, it was kind of light. It was kind of, I ain't gonna lie. So far to me, I think the South, I think the South has had the strongest, the strongest showing so far. With Hayes, Chef Trez, and Clone, and uh, Savior Dios, Savior Dios. With them dudes coming out of there, they was pretty strong. Then you got the West, with, with Diz with the theft, active with the theft, you know what I'm saying? I am. Then you got the East, with Head Ice, uh, J Murder, XL, you know what I'm saying? Show Off. Show Off was pretty good, I ain't gonna lie, I give Show Off his credit. Excel did his thing too. Murder did his thing, but it was a lot of gas. I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot of niggas in the background and shit. Got like 50 niggas in the building. It's a lot of gas, man. I'm sorry. I call it like I call it, so I can't spoil it. Um, but the strongest division to me so far is uh, the South. I still haven't seen anybody beat Clone's performance. I still, like, no, no. Well, closest to it would be Sharon today. Sharon today is probably the closest. But I think, so far, I think Clone still has the best performance in this tournament so far. I don't know if it's a flash in the pan, if he can, re -repl if he can replicate that shit. But to me, I, I, I have not seen the performance that beats his yet. If you have, y'all tell me in these comments and you let me know. Uh, salute to Organic, salute to King of the Dot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Tournament, Grand Prix, first round's pretty much done. Y'all know I'm going to call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it goes. So, I mean, niggas is choking and joking. I'm going to call them for choking. Like, niggas is choking. Still slipping, stumbling. Oh, hold on. Yo. Damn, where was I at? Where was I at? Where was I at? Leave without your hands, bro. Leave without your hands, bro. Leave without your hands, bro. Leave without your hands. Um... Yeah, that's how it goes. But uh, we'll be back later on with Jag versus 40 Cal. I did see that battle. Uh, I got I got my commentary on it. I'll save that for later. Uh, I'm gonna watch Big T versus Big K. Uh, we'll see how that one goes. And uh, you know, it is what it is. Other than that, you already know what it's doing, what it does. So you gotta ask what it was.